All right, so let's take a look at market profile. So we've done all these videos on the ATR dots, you know, when to buy and sell off these ATR dots. So yesterday morning when we had that big breakout, let's go back to that. I'll show you when we broke out of market profile. So yesterday we broke out of market profile like we're trying to do now, and we had a retracement to these ATR dots right here. The same thing is we'll look for that this morning. We will look for a breakout above high value area. We'll look for a breakout above high value area. Right now, we want a candle close on that candle push above high value area like yesterday. So yesterday we had our high value at this point at 4,500. That was our high value yesterday. And this is how you can incorporate market profile with these uh, with these retracement trades. So that was our profile yesterday, right exactly at this level. And we were below it. I was on the microphone. I said, if we get a push through, if we get a push push through market profile, push through that triple resistance. We were down here talking, right? We had this trade set up long because ATR dots are going up, green ATR. Here's your opposite color speed bar, so that was a long. So the next possible long would be when we break out of a, a high value area, which we did. We had a big giant five minute candle up in market profile, broke right through it. That next retracement was an 11 point S&P potential run, which it did. It moved up 11 S&P points. So, that level was what 98 all the way up to 09 so there's 11 point potential from this zone by this level and what really fueled that trade was what we're trying to do now is we broke through high value area we got a big candle close and the candle pushed through the high value that pushed us through on this chart there's your retracement opposite color speed bars and there's our retracement okay so, you know, that is what is key, is that you want to use market profile for breakout. So let's just take a look at market profile by itself then. If the blue line right here in market profile is a control point, that's the most volume that's traded on the instrument that you're trading. So the way to look at this is this. If you are above market profile, above blue, and but below high value area, the red, you are mildly bullish if you get outside if you're above blue and get outside of HVA and there's nothing above you meaning it's all black space you are extremely bullish no shorts can be taken and that is extremely bullish what market profile does it's actually looking at all the volume that's coming in the market all hedge funds prop firms algorithms and it's finding the, the big explosive areas in the market where this market can really break out hard to the upside or break down hard to the downside. So this right here at this level, you're mild, mild bullish, mildly bullish. And at this level, when you get above the blue and also above the control point, also HVA, you're a major bull, no shorts. Vice versa, if you are below the blue here, the VWAP and the control point, if you blow the blue down to the green, you are mildly bearish. And if you get below all three levels of market profile, especially the big thick green line, that's volume profile, then you're a major seller. You're a major bear. No longs. So how you can use market profile then is you can use this profile to gauge when to look for these pullback trades. Because we know we just look for ATR runs. ATR. There's your ATR dots. Green ATR dots. And then we just look for optic color speed bars. And then we use the oscillator below to pull us in. And that's how we'd like to run those trades. Here's your entry also. Oscillator pulled us in. Offset color speed bar and so on. 
However, what you can do is you can use market profile to time when you're going to get these possible big runners. Right now, I know that I'm mildly bullish. So let's look at current data. I'm mildly bullish right now, but I got no ATR dots that are printing right now. So what do I do? You, you can't take any longs because I got no ATR, green ATR dots that are printing. And I've got no breakout of market profile. Look what it's doing. I'm mildly bullish. I'm above blue, but I'm hitting into red resistance three times resistance. You cannot take this market long. And that's how market profile can help you out, just by keeping it that simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Market profile, like I tell everybody, has been working since 1985. Price profile, volume profile has been working since 1994. I mean, that's a great thing about Peter Stoudemire. I mean, and now Peter Stoudemire, you know, came out with these volume spikes also, which I love his work. And that's something what these do to, to try to find our trades. This break retest trade out of the zone. That told us that that was wrongly positioned traders for that push up. So the great thing about using market profile with these levels is you really get it to work. Uh, they work really well together. So when we broke LVA yesterday, we start breaking back inside of HV and LVA, the market start breaking down and you start seeing these ATR dots. So let's look at when we broke down through HVA. So when you break back inside of HVA2 market profile, so watch, here was the breakout of market profile. Breakout of market profile, look at the retracement to my zone, look, it fired up 11 S&P point potential. Vice versa, when you break back inside a profile, which it did, here's my high value yesterday. So this is a simple ABC pattern. We broke out of market profile, which I was anticipating on the mic yesterday. And I said, look for that zone buy, and I was correct in the assumption that it would bounce out of the zone. 11 S&P point potential. But the market did what? It finally broke the zone. So that tells us we're possibly going the opposite direction. So we got back inside of high value area. The red ATR dots start printing. Our offset color speed bars come in right at the high inside the zone. And it was a huge short yesterday. Look at that short. Right there with a the small 12 tick stop. The fill, or it would be the low of that bar, 44.95. It got down to 45. 50 S&P point potential. 50. Based upon knowing how to use market profile and also my ATR dots that work together. So those are two big inflection points. Here was your bullish buy by using market profile and the ATR dots. And here's when you got back inside a profile. Because listen, if that market's strong, it's never going to get back inside of HVA. It's going to keep outside of it. But what it did, it weakened and it got back inside of HVA for the retest and then the market just collapsed. All right. That's how we can use market profile, right, market profile to gauge when to use and cherry pick our trades on these ATR and volume spikes. It's a beautiful combination, right? Because that's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is the total volume of the market. This is telling us when the market is major bull or major bear, right? Because what it likes to do, it likes to break out and then it'll never look back sometimes below HVA. But if it does it, if it does get back in outside HVA, Let's flip gears. Let's see if we can get retested HVA and come back down to the LVA or even lower. So that's the best way to use market profile with our ATR. So what we'll do today, you can see we got rejected. We got rejected up here at high value area. Just by looking at market profile, that tells us we cannot break out. So that tells us we can't break out, so we're not going to get this type of ATR run. So what do we have right now? We've got nothing to do. Look, we got no, no trades to take. Look. There's no ATR dots to print. So it teaches you, it educates you, it tells you the internals of the market. That we are mildly bullish, but we're not majorly bullish. We're not looking for a big ATR run like yesterday. We're not looking for that 50 S&P point move, 20 S&P point move, 15 S&P point move, 10 S&P point move. We're not looking for that. We haven't broke out. 
So if we're going to oscillate between LVA and HVA, then you're not going to really want to trade these ATR dots, right? You don't want to trade them unless we break back inside here of HVA, which you're trying to do, and then we start getting rid of ATR dots, and then we retest, and then we get some ATR dot zone cells. That's a possibility. But you're not majorly bearish until you get below low value area. You know, so that's how you can gauge market temperature. And I always educate this way. Market temperature is either hot or it's dead cold. The market can only do two things. It goes vertical or it goes horizontal. And you got to really just think that way. Either we're horizontal, which is chop, or we're vertical and we are trending. If we're trending and we are hot, the temperature is hot in the market, then you're above HVA or you're below LVA and you have ATR dots that are printing. And the way to cherry pick that is, is if you are outside of HVA, you want green dots to print on the 5 sim and you want green dots to print on the 8 sim. And then look for that pullback inside the zone. That should be your best trade. That's when you want to put your money to risk at that level. You sure as heck don't want to put your money to risk now. You're just asking to get stopped out. And this is where we don't pull the trigger. This is where you have to have confidence in your trading ability to, to focus on the levels that are the most important. And this is not an important level. We have no ATR dots are printing. We can't break out of HVA. We're in beside HVA and LVA. We're oscillating back and forth. We are still mildly bullish. We're above blue, but below red. But we don't have any ATR dots to, that are printing. So what do we do? You just got to sit. You got to sit and be patient and wait for the market to come to you. And that's how market profile can really help you out.